All right. <clears throat> Your quiz is only on section 7.4. All right, God bless you. There are five questions. Four of the five questions, guys, there's going to be absolutely zero partial credits, either right or wrong. All right? If they ask you what the dimensions of the given matrix are, remind yourself, please, write this down. The way that you identify the dimensions is row by column. That means we look left to right, then up and down, just like the X and Y axis. You go left and right first, then up and down. So it's how many rows there are of numbers versus how many columns. So if I look at number, <clears throat> if I look at number eight, there's one row of numbers. Do you guys see that? So this is a one. Yeah, this is a one by one, two, three, four. It's a one by four. I cannot give you partial credit. Last two pairs, I went over this. And somebody says, this is so easy. They got all three of these wrong because they did it backwards. They told me this is a four by one. That's a huge, huge, huge mistake. You'll see why as we get into um, adding and multiplying matrices, but it's important that you understand how to name the dimensions of the matrix. So if I look at number 10, it's three rows, agreed, by how many columns? Three. So it's a three by three. And number 12, it's three row, two rows by one, two, three, four columns. So it's a two by four. <clears throat> Does that make sense? Okay. Now, if they give you a system of equations and they say, here's the system of equation, write the augmented matrix. Augmented matrix means it has two parts to it. What are those two parts? The coefficients, good. And the answers, good. If they ask you for just the coefficient matrix, then you give just that. If they give you just, or if they want just the constant matrix, you give that. But if they want the augmented, that means you give both. If there is not a letter represented in a specific row, then what do you put? Okay, good. So for number 15, what would my matrix look like? 1, 10, negative 2, then 2. Then two. Separate, somehow, separate your coefficients from your answer. You can do those dots or you can do that line. Yes, sir? So if it was coefficient and just 1, 10, negative 2? Correct. And if it was just the answer, it would just be 2, 0, 6. So what's my second row look like? 5, 5, negative 3, 4, 5, negative 3, 4, and 0. And what's my third row look like? 2, 1, 0, 0. Two, one, zero, six. Because there's no Z. And then if you were to write the dimensions, it's a what by what? It's a three by one, two, three, four. Three by four. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, 16. What does my matrix look like for 16? The augmented matrix. One, negative three, one, one and one. <clears throat> Good. Then what? Uh, zero, four, zero, zero. Good. And zero, zero, seven, five. Perfect. And what are my dimensions? Three by four. four. Good. If you guys don't know what I mean by dimensions or augmented matrix, or something like that, ask me now. <coughs> we all right? Okay, 17. <clears throat> 17 is? 7, seven negative 5, <clears throat> 1, 13. And then what? 19, 0, negative 8, and 10. What are my dimensions? A 2 by 4. Left and right first, then up and down. We good? Okay. <clears throat> Write this one down. Or take a picture of it, whatever. Yeah. Five. <clears throat> Five questions. So look, what would my first row be? If I was going to write this system of equations, what is the first row? 6x. 
plus 5y minus 3z equals 2. Perfect. Then what? 4x, 4x minus y, minus y and then equals, 8. equals 8. You can put a space if you want. You can put 0z if you want. Or you can just write it as the equation. But just make sure there is nothing represented in the z column. <clears throat> and then what's the last row? 3y minus 5z equals 1. That's it. Not asking you to do anything else with that other than just recognizing. We okay? All right, now let's work this problem out, and then we're going to work. I have two here. If you notice, I wrote an extra one. So let's work on 67, and I'll give you a chance to copy down <coughs> the other one. All right, we're going to use our Gaussian Jordan with back substitution, the row echelon formula, the elementary rows to solve using matrices, right? This is what they're asking you to do. The first row has to start with a what? Positive 1. Does this first equation start with a positive 1x? No. So the first thing you need to do here, guys, is what? Multiply or divide the whole thing by negative 1. So when I do that, do you guys agree with me that it just changes all of the signs? Okay. There is a ton of places to make mistakes here. So I would suggest, and I only gave you one of these on each version, but I would suggest you guys take your time. Lots of places to make mistakes, lots of places to get lost. So you need to make sure you are staying organized. So I'm going to write my first row. It's 1, negative 1. 1, 14. Agreed? What's my second row look like? 2, negative 1, 1, 21. And what's the third row? 3, 1, 19. Okay? God bless. So now I'm going to draw my little triangle. What should be on my diagonals at the end? All positive ones. What should be underneath my positive ones? zeros. So let's work on this. <clears throat> My first row is perfectly fine. It starts with a positive 1, so I'm just going to rewrite it. 1, negative 1, 1, 14. Everybody with me? Okay, so I want to make this become a 0. What would I do to the top row or the bottom row to combine them? Okay, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to negative 2 times the first row plus the second row. You guys agree with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I have my negative 2 here. Guys, don't rush through this. Take a second to go, okay, negative 2 times 1. Because if you make one tiny sign error, the whole thing's wrong. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Check me as I go. Mm -hmm. Positive 2, negative 2, negative 28. Agreed? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then my second row that I'm adding it to is 2, negative 1, 1, 21. So if I add down, what's negative 2 and a positive 2? Zero. Zero. What's 2 and negative 1? One? 1. Negative 2 and 1? One. Negative 1. And negative 28 and se 21? Negative. negative 7. So my second row is now 0, 1, negative 1, negative 7. And did I do anything to the third row yet? No. no so just rewrite it. So now check. My diagonals. I want all of my diagonal to be what number? One. Positive 1. I want underneath my diagonal to be what? Mm -hmm. 0. So are my first and second rows OK? Yeah. yeah, they're exactly how I want them to be. So I'm just going to rewrite them. So 1, <laughs> negative 1, 1, 14. 0, 1, negative 1, negative 7. So let's first work on that 3. How am I going to get that 3 to cancel out? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Multiply the first row by negative 3. I agree. Negative 3 times row 1 plus row 3. So when I do that, I get negative 3, positive 3, negative 3, 14 and 3. <coughs> negative 42. And then I have 3, 2, 1, 19. So when I add down, what's negative 3 and positive 3? 0. What's 3 and 2? 5. Negative 3 and 1? 
Negative 2. And then negative 42 and 19. Negative 23. Good. So 0, 5, negative 2, negative 23. Again, check your diagonals. Is my top row still good? Okay. My second row still good? Okay. 1, negative 1, 1, 14. 0, 1, negative 1, negative 7. <clears throat> so let's work on this 5 then. What do you want to do? Okay, let's do the top by 5. I want you guys, don't write this down, but I want you to do this. Let's say, okay, 5 times row 1 plus row 3, right? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just let me do it real quick. Just one. I see some of you like, wait, 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 it's not going to work out. Uh, some of you may not see that at that point. But watch, if I multiply the top row by 5, I get 5, negative 5, 5, and 70. And then my second row, I mean my third row, 0, 5, negative 2, negative 23. Guys, what happens when I add down? You get five. I get 5 plus 0 is 5. What do I want it to be? Zero. That's not, so that's not going to help me. You could get to your answer that way, I promise. You're just going to take the long way around. So once you see, oh wait, 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 that didn't work out like I wanted it to. Take a step back and go, hmm, is there something else I can do? What else could I do? Second row by negative 5. So I have negative 5 times row 2 plus row 3. So negative 5 and 0 is 0. Negative 5, positive 5, 35. Then I have 0, 5, negative 2, negative 23. So when I add down, I get zero, what? Zero, zero three, three, three and, 12. and 12. So zero, zero, three, 12. Check your diagonals. <clears throat> I've got all the zeros I want. I got two out of the three ones. I need that three to become a one. Now, some of you are going to be like, what can I multiply? How can I figure this out? When you get to this point, if it doesn't just jump out at you that there's something that you could do to a top row and then add together, is there a common factor between 3 and 12? Yeah, what is it? I can just say I'm going to take row 3 and divide it by what number? 3. If I do that, guys, I'm left with 1, negative 1, 1, 14. 0, 1, negative 1, negative 7, right? Now, what's my last row? 0, 0, 1, 4. Zero, zero, one, four. I have not come close yet to solving my system of equations. All I've done now is set up three equations that I can now use back substitution for. What is the first row? What does the equation say? X minus Y plus Z. X minus Y plus Z equals 14. What's the second row say? Y minus Z equals negative, negative 7. And what's the third row say? Z equals, Z equals 4. Now I can use back substitution and do what? Can I can plug it back in. So I'm going to take this and put it right there. So I have Y minus 4 equals negative 7. Add 4 to both sides. Y equals what? Negative 3. Negative three. Good. Then I'm going to take negative 3 <clears throat> and 4 and plug it in. So X minus negative 3 plus 4 equals 14. x plus 3 plus 4 equals 14. Right? x plus 7 equals 14. So x equals what? Positive 7. Just say here you messed up and you put negative 7. Right? What's your order triple? 7, negative 3, 4. Say you got one of the signs wrong because you just weren't paying attention. Could you catch your error? Yes, because what you do is you take this order triple and you plug it in all the way back up here at your original. And it should work. Does that make sense? We okay? Everybody's all right. All right, let's do the second one, the second example. Take a picture of it, whatever you need to do. 
All right, can I start solving with the way that the equations are written right now? Why not? Because I don't have a positive 1x coefficient. Do I have an equation that I could manipulate that would make a positive 1? Yes. Okay, the second equation, correct? So you would move it to the top, and what would you do with all the signs? So I can rewrite this as x minus 2y plus z equals 0, right? Okay, so it's not there anymore. But now I look and say, okay, does my first equation start with a positive 1? Yes. So we can go right there from there. So my first row is 1, negative 2, 1, 0. My second row is what? Why did I put next? 4, negative 7, 1, negative 1. And my last one is 2, 1, negative 3, and 5. Everybody okay? Okay, so along here, looks like we've got some work to do, yes? Okay, so <clears throat> I know my first row is all right. Whoops. My first row is okay, so I have 1, negative 2, 1, and 0. What one I got to do to the second row? I'm going to get that 4 to cancel out. Okay, top row by negative 4. You guys agree? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say negative 4 times row 1 plus row 2. So I have negative 4, positive 8, negative 4, and 0. Then 4, negative 7, 1, negative 1. Everybody okay with that? Okay, so add down, I have 0, 1, negative 3, negative 1. 0, 1, negative 3, negative 1. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Did I do anything to the last row? No. No, not yet. So we'll just rewrite it. 2, 1, negative 3, and 5. Okay, well that one step really helped me out in the second row, didn't it? So now my first row is perfectly fine. I could just rewrite it. One, negative two, one, and zero. My second row is good. One, zero, one, negative three, and negative one. The third row I need to fix. So what am I going to do? You can multiply the Okay, you're looking at, let's, I, I always start over here on the left. Let's get rid of that too. What am I going to do? Uh, you can multiply the top by negative two. Okay, let's multiply the top by negative two. So, negative two times row one plus row three. Agreed? So, I have negative two, four, negative two, and zero. And then two, one, negative three, five. 0, 5, negative 5, 5. 0, 5, negative 5, 5. Yeah? <clears throat> yes, ma'am. That's okay. Don't say sorry. You guys agree with that? Mm -hmm. All right, so if I look at my diagonals here, I'm getting close. I'm getting real close, but now i got to cancel out one of the fives. Just look at that second column, negative 2, 1, and 5. Is there something I could do here to multiply either neg the first row or the second row by that would get my 5s to cancel out, become a 0? No. I can't multiply negative 2 by anything to have it cross out with 5. Can't, well, I mean, I could do 1, I guess, if I did negative 5, right? Yeah. No, it would cancel out. It would be zeros. But what do you guys notice about this line? They're all 5s. Can I do something to make this a little easier? Do I have to do that at this point? Do I have to just divide everything by 5? I don't have to. I could. I could multiply this row by negative 5. It is a lot more work. 
But some of you may see that. You might say, oh, I have to go here, negative five. <clears throat> Let's just do it that way. One, negative two, one, zero. Then I, my zero, one, negative three, and negative one is okay. So now I'm gonna take negative five times row two plus row three. So negative five and zero is zero. Negative five and one is negative five. Negative five and negative three is 15, right? Negative five and negative one is five. Then I have zero, five, negative five, five. So zero, zero, 10, and 10. So look, zero, zero, 10, and 10. Five. And then divide everything by what? <clears throat> then I would say need three zeros. row three divided by 10. So I have one, negative two, one, zero. Zero, one, you could have negative three, negative one. I'm gonna show a couple different things. Zero, zero, one, zero. But I come out with what? Read my equation. X minus 2y plus z equals zero. Y minus three equals negative one. Yeah, I forgot to write that, thanks. And then z equals what? Z equals zero. So I say, okay, y minus three times zero equals negative one. Right? So y equals negative one. Oh, guys, you didn't catch my mistake. Rewind. What's 10 divided by 10? 1. What did I put? Right? <clears throat> so my equation should be x minus 2y plus z equals 0. y minus 3z equals negative 1 and z equals one. See, it's super easy to make a mistake, be careful. So now we use our back substitution. So I have y minus three times one equals negative one, yes? y minus three equals negative one, so y equals, I'm gonna add three to both sides, so two. And then we have x minus two times y, which is two plus z, which is one, equals zero. x minus four plus one equals zero. x minus three equals zero. x equals three. So my ordered triple would be three, two, one. Now Michael said, <clears throat> in this case, why didn't we just right here, where we could have divided everything by fives? You could have. You absolutely could have. If you guys didn't put your equations in this order, if you would have switched these two and put x the first and then the 2x and the 4x, then this opportunity right here to divide by fives would have presented itself earlier. At any time, you can go through and divide out a common factor. Go ahead and do that. It'll make your multiplication and your addition and stuff easier. Just make sure you don't make a silly mistake like I just did. 10 divided by 10 is one, not zero. But I would have caught that when? At the end when we went and plugged it back in because you guys are all gonna take the time to do that. Yes? Yeah. Possibly? Yeah. Possibly, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so there is your quiz.